Hello, welcome to MIAA Women's Basketball Online Media Day. We're here with head coach Fala Bullock of the Northeastern State Riverhawks. Coach, um, you know, obviously you have a history with this NSU program. Let's talk about returning back to uh, Northeastern State and Tahlequah. Well, so far it's been really good. I've uh, been welcomed back with open arms. It's great to be back just at my alma mater just because I have such fond memories of uh, my playing days here, my coaching days here. So it's been exciting to be back. Um, like I said, um, being welcomed back by our community and our um, university, everybody's been really super. Um, and now it's just about getting to know our girls better and coaching them up and preparing for our season. Obviously, you know, look into the program. You 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 come from you know the style of play Randy Gibson coached for for a number of years, and people would automatically assume you'd probably follow that same sort of blueprint. Um, just talk about whether there be any sort of differences between his coaching model versus your coaching model, and the style of play that the Riverhawks will have in this upcoming season. Sure. Obviously, my foundation is with with the motion offense and uh, the tough defenders uh, that we were back when I played here. And, and I think Randy's style will have um, some imprint in the way that I'll coach our team. But I I think that I've uh, grown and, and developed as a coach a little bit. And, I, and my style has changed over time. It, I think we'll be able to mesh what I really like to do and the tempo of play that I like to play at along with some of the motion concepts and basic defensive principles that Randy has taught here in the past too. So we want to kind of blend his style, my style, and, and find out what's best for our team. Uh, you know, you mentioned a little bit earlier before about getting to know the team. You've you got a mix of handful of newcomers and handful of returners, and how do you kind of mesh that together with, you know, just yourself just coming into the program? Sure, so that's one challenge that you meet when you take over a program is um, getting the former players or um, returners to mesh well with the new players. I've been very, very lucky so far. Our players have really been receptive to the coaching. Our staff has been excited to get in there every day and work with them and I think uh, the new players add a different dimension, a different um, kind of style or swag to the game a little bit. Um, I think our returners weren't really sure what to expect because I'm new, um, but I think they're also ready to kind of flip over and change and see our program kind of turn a corner and getting, getting some wins under our belt again. So they've been really receptive to the coaching and I think mixing the old players with the new players, the chemistry that we'll have to create because of that, it's been so far so good. So just looking forward to seeing our players connect and um, hopefully our old players will continue to lead and continue to show our new players how things are done here in Tahlequah and, and just give them a sense of who we are. You know, you, you got a handful of newcomers uh, who really stood out to you so far. You know, it's hard to go through, you go one full practice so far, sure. but you've, you know, you've had some mishmash of you know, seeing the kids for the last month just kind of get on the floor and playing and just talk about what you've seen so far. So far, um, well, if we can stay healthy, we could be really in a great spot. But I think our newcomers have been really good. I think we, we brought in three junior college transfers and all of them have had impact on our preseason. Um, Tree Brooks from Texas has done a really good job of um, learning the style of play but she brings a background of winning to the table and you can see that in our practices she's very competitive i like what she's doing uh, bailey eldred from murray state she's done a really nice job she brings a physical presence to the game that that i think we were missing for a long time works hard effort is always there so excited to see um, her continue to do well and I think we've added some size and size with Joy Bertrand uh, from Cypress College out of California and I think her shot blocking ability her length is really going to give us a defensive presence but she's also got some good skill down on the block and can shoot it out a little bit so as far as the transfers are concerned Great job. Looking forward to see what they bring this season. We also uh, brought in a D2 transfer, Morgan Hellyer from Adelphi. Um, she's a glue kind of kid, done really a great job this preseason of working her tail off and, and just doing all the little detail things. She brings it every day, and so that's been good. And then our three freshmen, we're excited about them. One being a red shirt, Lauren Blevins, we're excited about what she brings to the table with her size. Uh, she's got great skill around the basket, presence, 
physicality. I think she'll really have a great career here if she can stay healthy. And then um, our local girls, Cena Hayes and, and Kaylee Cunningham, both of them have done a great job trying to transition. They've um, really taken all the coaching and the speed and the tempo of, of basketball here, which is significantly different from what they played in high school. And they've done a really great job with that. So I'm excited about all the newcomers and meshing those with, with some of those returners. It's, it's been really a good mesh so far. The chemistry is starting to really come together. So if we could just keep our girls healthy, I think we'll be in good shape. Um, you know, just overall ex expectations for the upcoming year. Well, I think we got a we got a really long hard grind that we have to be prepared for our expectation is to compete one game at a time we're taking it one practice at a time we want to take it one game at a time i think it'll be important for us to um, come out of the gates and and really have a good idea of who we are i think that process is starting to happen in our practices the buy-in is there the process is being trusted now so um, it's been good so far but i think we can got to take it one game at a time the miaa is such a tough conference i think you know our goal is to get to the conference tournament just one win at a time one competitive game at a time and i think our our players are going to be up for the challenge and you know you got a little bit of a high bar right off the gate, so you go to Arkansas for your exhibition game to start the season. Oh yeah, that's going to be a fun one. Exhibition games are just great to just be able to find out where you're at, just using it as a measuring uh, stick. And uh, University of Arkansas and the SEC is going to be a challenge, like like any Division One exhibition game would be. But I think it's going to be good for our girls. I think we we have to figure out how tough you have to be to play, and playing a high level Division One. Uh, women's basketball program is going to be a good measuring tool for us so I'm looking forward to it I think the girls are I think they'll be jittery and nervous all it all those um, things all in one but I think if we can figure out how to have some discipline and have some poise I think it'll be good for us to be able to showcase who will be this season all right the Riverhawks will have their home opener on November 15th against Rogers State thank you